Hi, I'm Sangeeta. I'm a consultant and corporate trainer for Angular, ReactJS, and Java Full Stack, Spring with Microservices. I'm in this field for last 15 years. Let's get into action. NGRX is an Angular framework for building reactive applications. It provides the reactive way to manage the state of our application. Usually, how do we pass data between components? It could be through property binding, event binding, services. Now, we'll see how do we manage state through NGRX store. The key concepts involved here are store, reducers, actions, and selectors. Let's consider a component tree. User clicks on this component it selects a theme clicks on a button so the theme changes there are other components who are using the same theme so these all components also get re-rendered now what could be the possible data flow here from the component where user is interacted, data may go to its parent through proper through event binding, then to its parent again through event binding, then it may come to its child through property binding, again another child through property binding, one more child through property binding. So this kind of data flow is manageable in smaller size of applications. But as our application grows, this kind of data management becomes complex. Here, NGRX store will come to our rescue. What the NGRX store is? It represents the application-wide state or global state of our application. Store will represent here uh, the application-wide data. Reducers are the pure functions. Uh, they take initial state and a callback function. Callback function uh, will hold the logic how the data should be updated. Reducers are the only way through which the store can be accessed or the application data can be accessed. Uh, then there are actions. Actions are the intents, uh, like what you want to do, like increment counter could be one of the actions, or uh, login user, logout user, change theme. So these are all actions. And when there is some interaction on some component, some action will be fired. On a specific action, how the state should be managed, that will be the responsibility of a reducer. Let's consider the same example again. Now with store. Store will represent uh, the application wide state. Here we can consider the store as the central place where the whole application data would reside. Now, if user clicks on the button and selects a particular theme, the selected theme will get updated in the store. Upon change in the selected theme, the interested components will get the notification reactively from the store. Now we can see this is a more cleaner way of managing the data and flow of data is simplified. So for uh, our complex applications, bigger sized applications, store will help us to simplify the flow of data and management of data. I have created a simple example here uh, using store. We have here four components, uh, that is two child components, one parent component and one grandparent component. There could be some interaction on child component to which grandparent wants to respond. Parent component is not interested. So here is Sarah, child component and Tom, another child component. Now suppose if Sarah clicks on uh, the button, I am hungry. Now, grandparent responds with some message. 
then if uh, there is some interaction on tom i'm thirsty then again grandparent is responding with some message so uh, this state is getting managed through the store let's go to the store code now uh, this is app.model.ts file and where we are configuring uh, our store so you can see line number 26 here store module dot for root and we are passing the reducer baby care reducer now we can see some actions here like hungry sara or thirsty tom reset action so these all are actions created using create action function from ngrx finally the reducer code we are creating baby care reducer uh, using create reducer function again from ngrx store and uh, if we look at line number 8 on some action that is hungry sara how the state will get updated that is the callback function that is the second parameter so this is my github link uh, you can find the demo and ppt over there and you can visit my website also you can download the material from there also so that's all for now thank you so much thank you so much